Okay, so for today's video, we're going to go over my whole experience with the most recent Funko convention. And overall, I had a really great experience with it. Um, there wasn't a ton of pops I wanted, but I really got everything that I wanted that I planned on getting. And I'll explain what I mean by that in just a second. So um, for the con, I really only planned on getting the anime pops that I really wanted. Um, the only ones that I wanted were either going to go to either box lunch or the Funko shop. In the Funko shop, I'll be honest, I was scared to death when I saw half the pops I wanted were going to the Funko shop. There were a few anime pops that I wanted or that I that I didn't want. Um, there was a few, I think, either Inuyasha or Yu Yu Hakusho, one of the two. I think it was Inuyasha, but it's just a series I haven't really seen, and just the stuff I've seen of it, I don't know if it's really the anime that I would like, but I mean, I could watch it and love the series and completely regret that I didn't get the pops, but I'll be honest, I paid, I spent almost like a hundred dollars, no, I spent over a hundred dollars on this convention, so I was already spending a lot of money on the cons, I was like, I don't want to just buy stuff, just be buying stuff, and like I said, if I end up loving Yu Yu Hakusho or whatever, or Inuyasha, I'll probably end up regretting that I didn't buy the pops, but it is what it is, because I'm really happy with the ones I did get, so, um, the only ones I picked up in store was the Makimo and Sabito 2-pack, these are the two from, like, the Demon Slayer first arc, something does happen to both of these characters, which you will understand if you watch the first season, and I, but I'm not gonna spoil it, but I definitely really like both of these characters, Sabito's so cool to me, um, but it is kind of unfortunate with their whole circumstance, but, um, and then I also got the Ryom and Sukuna pop. Um, really love Sukuna. Um, like I said in some of the last few videos, Jujutsu Kaisen, I've recently watched it. I'm pretty much up to date. So I've been watching the dub, and I know that's going to make some of you all not the happiest. But I'm, I'm pretty much up to date on the dub. I think I've, I can watch one or maybe two episodes today. But I'm pretty up to date with Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm in the Shibuya arc. Um, really love what I've seen of Jujutsu Kaisen so far. Um, but, yeah, they had this one. It was on sale, and it came out really recently, so I was surprised it was already on sale, so I decided to pick it up. Um, I'd considered ordering it, but I, whenever I went in the store and saw that they had it, I was like, oh, great, we'll just get it now. And, yeah, I got it. And, like I said, it was on sale. The price matched, or it was the same price online, so it worked out great. I'm super happy to get it because I really love Sukuna. I've got a few Yuji pops, but I think this is technically my first Sukuna pop. And if you understand the correlation between those two, you would understand that they're sort of one and the same or share the same body um but yeah really love both of really love both of the two pops i picked up in store but i will go over the other con stuff so on the funko shop there was the luffy wanted poster the ichigo pop and um oh there was one non-con pop i ended up getting and then i got some protectors but oh and there was the mic guy so we'll mention everything so Going into the con, I planned on hoping to get the Demon Slayer 2-pack, Ichigo, and um, Luffy. But I'll be honest, with how the last, last, um, pretty much every Funko convention has gone with me for One Piece, and especially whenever they go to the Funko shop, it's been complete goose eggs. I, I don't think I've gotten a single One Piece con pop, and I've tried to get almost all of them. I mean, there was kind of periods of time where I quit collecting Funko, and just didn't even try to get the ones like the Trafalgar Law. I wish I would have tried to get it. I probably wouldn't have got it, but I wish I would have tried. Um, but yeah, there's been a few One Piece cons that I didn't even try to get, but um, this was the first one I actually managed to get. I was really, I couldn't believe I got it. It sold out. I think it was the first one to sell on the website, but the website, I will say, was so great this time. The Funko Shop has been very hit or miss on their online, for the most part, miss, because a lot of time it's been like the lottery or the waiting rooms but this one it was like everything's going to go up at this time and just add it to your cart and it went exactly like that for me it went really really well so I was able to get Luffy and then the next pop I wanted to get was Ichigo I know the Ichigo pop was very similar to that one that came out a few years ago with the chase but I never ended up picking up that pop and this will actually be my first Ichigo in the collection or would have been and I didn't think this one would sell out just because like I said it was very similar to that one pop but I ended up getting the Ichigo as well very happy with it and then the one other pop I bought from the Funko shop, I bought the um, Glow Kilo. Well, I did not order that pop when it first came out because there wasn't a ton of stuff I wanted on the Funko shop at the time. And I didn't really want to pay $60 pretty much just to get one pop whenever Kilo was the only character I really wanted. And it was not that similar from the calm and just a few different features and it glows. So I didn't, but whenever I got the chance to pretty much just get it to get free shipping, I was like, great, we'll get it now. Um, and then we'll mention my guy. I did not get the My Guy pop. I know I'm kind of a Naruto completionist, but stuff like this is making me not going to be a Naruto completionist. I'll be completely honest. This, That whole thing was crap. I'll be honest. They should not have made a pop like Naruto 
from the Naruto series come with a box lunch bag um, or whatever, the bags. I was not happy at all over that, and it made me not get the pop. I'll be honest. If it would have been a single pop, I would have been all out trying to get that pop because I really love my guy, but I'm not going to pay $120 for a backpack that I don't even want, and that's pretty much why I didn't get it. Um, I'll probably just end up getting the chalice version because, honestly, I'd rather have a glow version of that pop than the glitter, but I'll be honest. Stuff like this is probably like the final straw that I'm not going to be a Funko completionist just because Funko does crap like this, which is so annoying. And I think this is pretty much the final thing that's like, now I'm just going to get the one version of a variant of the pop. If there's a glow, a metallic, a glitter, and a common, I'll just get whichever one of the four I like the best that's the easiest to get. And that's pretty much going to be it because Funko's pretty much screwed over the collectors with doing stuff like the bags and stuff. Because half the people that would have bought the pop aren't going to buy it because they made a bag. And it's as simple as that. Because, I mean, if they would have made it a $30 pop, I mean, really it should have been a $20 pop or $20 or $15 pop. If they would have done that instead of making a bag with it, I would have bought it. But I'm not paying $120 for a bag that I don't even want. So that's my little ramble about that. Um, and then another little ramble I'm going to make about the Naruto Pops is the Minato Glow Pop. I would have 100% ordered that pop with this stuff if it wasn't with a mystery box. Just stuff like that is so dumb. And they're like, I'm, I, and like I said, I really love what Funko did with this convention. Made it so easy for the buyers. But... The Minato stuff and the um, the Minato pop having to be in a mystery box, that pop would have sold so much better, Funko, if you would have just made it as it is, as a single pop instead of having to buy a mystery box. Because I just don't care to buy a mystery box. I don't want to pay that much money when I just want the one pop. Because I know half the pops I'm going to get are either commons or stuff I already have. Like, if I didn't already have the Mero one pop, because I saw a bunch of people were getting the Mero one, I would have been super happy. But, you know, I, bought, I pre-ordered the Mero one pop, so... I've been waiting for the Maryland pop, and then when I got it, I don't want to get a second one just because. So, even though I'm very happy with the con, this time, I am really still upset over how a few things Funko has done recently. But then, also, about the Makimo and Sabito pop, I actually did order that one on box lunch. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it into my box lunch before, because I came, like, two hours after my box lunch opened, and I actually still had a lot when I got there, so it would have been fine, but... I wasn't sure if they would have had it, and I didn't really want to take the risk. So I ended up ordering one, and they it wouldn't let me cancel it. So I might that might end up being the first pop I ever sell. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I ended up getting... I'm going to have two of the two-pack because I couldn't cancel my order. But I think it'll be fine. I mean, I should be able to sell that pop fairly easily. And like it's one that I think if I wait a year, I'll probably be able to make a decent amount of money on it. But um, yeah, overall, really happy with the convention, even though I did have my slight issue with the Mike Guy pop, just because I really would have loved to get the pop, but I wasn't paying $120, just going to be completely real. I would have paid $20, but not $120. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, I, I know I haven't uploaded a ton on this channel, it's been very infrequent, but I plan on trying to do a few more videos, and you know, it's kind of, it's just going to be, see how this channel goes. You know, if we have a video that blows up or something, we might do some stuff, more stuff on this channel, but... As of right now, this is really going to be how it's going to be. It's just going to be whenever I get pops, we'll make a video. But I'm not going out of my way to make buy pops or make videos on this channel just because. But yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'm out. And I'm really happy with these two pops. And I'm really happy with the con pops I was able to get. I just wish I could have got the Mike Guy or the Minato. And I mean, I mean, I know the Minato wasn't a con pop. But still, Funko, do better. <laughs>